Welcome to another fishing video guys. So apparently the garfish has arrived for real this time. So let's see if we can catch some. Let's go! I'm gonna start off with this lure only without a sabiki rig. Usually it might be enough for garfish, otherwise I'll attach a sabiki rig as well. Almost forgot my daughter Alicia gave me this magic charm to use. This will attract the fish. <laughs> What a beautiful day. So garfish usually don't swim deep. They are quite on the top of the surface. So if you're new to gar fishing, make sure that you fish on the surface. So guys, I fished for an hour almost, not a single bite and haven't noticed any other fishermen catching any. So I'm gonna switch to a sabiki rig. Completely dead today, guys. Not even herring. Just because I said so, I got a fish on. And this actually feels like a garfish. <laughs> I forgot how much they fight actually. Yeah, that's definitely a garfish. I really don't like to catch them on a sabiki rig because they really destroy it. Oh yeah. It's a good sign as well. First garfish of the year. Yeah, that was good. He's gone. And as always, I like to bleed my fish. Makes the meat taste better. Since the Sabika rig did the trick, let's continue fishing with it fun to see all the other fishermen everyone was like almost gave up fishing none was throwing in because it was so dead and as soon as i hooked my fish now everybody's fishing <laughs> guys i hooked another fish but this is actually not a garfish and i'm surprised to see it this early this year this is a sand eel this is great bait as well now honestly especially for um, sea trout that is really cool my first sand eel ever actually hopefully he'll survive he's swimming swimming down at least yeah i think he'll make it Another sand deal, guys. I wonder if you can eat those. Maybe if you fry them. I mean, those two fishermen in that boat are dangerously close to the pier right now. I could easily cast that far and hit them. They're not paying attention. They have their backs turned around here. Luckily, they're moving away. Got him. No, lost him. <laughs> Yeah, who knew that? No, I you. Go 
gonna fish on guys, but I think this is a herring. Or actually no, it's another one of those sand eels. <laughs> Look how it hooks him from the tail. It's been really slow actually. One and a half hour since the last fish I caught. These are actually really cool. He will definitely survive. Whoa, whoa. That was a fail. Come here, buddy. You're going home. So guys, the sun is really hot now. It's been three hours of fishing and only I think I'm, I'm the only one that actually caught a garfish. I haven't seen any other. But there was a guy who actually caught a really big sea trout. If you haven't gone home yet, I'm gonna see if I can film it. So, normally I like to do catch and cooks videos, as you know. But, I mean, one garfish only feels a little bit, how can I say, not worth effort. However, I'm gonna try something that I saw on Facebook. A Danish guy showed a way to fillet a garfish it looks really simple i'm sure i will fail on it where he managed to fillet it and make it boneless so i'm gonna use this garfish as a how can i say education attempt i hope you can see this i don't have the best knife and i'm not in a kitchen let's see if i recall how he did it It looks so simple. Now what I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. one slab of meat. Now the thing with garfish as you probably know is that they have a lot of bones and their bones are as you can see green. It's radioactive. Yeah, I'm totally failing this but it's just for learning purpose. By the way if you're enjoying this video so far Please feel free to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot. Let's see if I can just rip it off like so. I think if I did it right, here is the bone section. And let's see. And this is this is all meat. Is there any bones left? Oh yeah, there are some bones here. I can see them. So we should be able to clean it up as well. I really hope you can see this angle. It's hard to record at the same time. I'm sure there are better ways to do it. Oh, I'm gonna smell so nice. Honestly, not bad. It's a lot of meat. You can also skin it. You have to get out of it like so. Yeah, 
again, I'm not gonna eat this because you shouldn't clean fish here, obviously, all the bacteria and stuff, but look at this, guys. Totally boneless, nice pieces of slab of garfish meat. That's really cool. Let's clean up after ourselves. And this guy will be food for the crabs. So guys, unfortunately the guy who caught that uh, really big sea trout had already left so I could not record it. But from my point of view it looks to be, to be at least 65 centimeters and it was completely silver. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching. Please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you on the next one.